Welcome back, guys, to the next episode of Pokemon Reborn. In the last episode, um, we uh, headed off to the desert area north of Reborn City, and we ran into um. Ah oh, man, I can't remember his name. <laughs> uh, uh, might as well just. I, 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 I need to know his name. Like fuck, what's his name? Taka. That's his name. <laughs> um, we. I think there was a puzzle that we started to do, but we didn't finish. Um, I'll be honest, like I have been, uh, I've been a little bit over overwhelmed lately. Like I've, I think I said it in my uh, Yu-Gi-Oh video, but for those who haven't seen that, it's fine. Um, but now I'm trying to like get back and finish up Pokemon Reborn, uh, mostly because Pokemon Rejuvenation version 13 is coming out. I've been waiting like two years for that game. And I, I just want to play it so badly. Um, but yeah. Let's uh, make our way through. And hopefully get where we need to go. I know this game is kind of like the puzzle master. So I hope my uh, fortitude is still there. Like, I am so excited for uh, Rejuvenation. Okay, uh, I need to be breaking these rocks. I'm just not entirely sure how I'm supposed to. There's somewhere around here I'm supposed to go, it seems. Probably gonna end up getting Mega Lucario. I could also get a Charizard, apparently. My, should I get a Charizard? I don't know. Can it go backwards? Nope. So it's a one-time deal. Alright. Oh, I hope I didn't... Hmm. Steelix and Skarmory. Okay, so that's how you break that rock. Oh, Shuckle's out here. That's pretty cool. Man, <laughs> you guys don't know how excited I am for Rejuvenation version 13. Oh my god, that's my favorite fan game. Um, it it just I know like the story has its problems, but like so does this one. Although to be fair, I think this one is a little less anime in some ways, but that one's so like. It's it, I don't know I I don't know how to say it I just I just like it. Well, if something's in the way, uh, I guess the best way for this to show you guys for you guys to see it. What the hell? Steel memory. Um, how do I get down? Oh, okay. Anything? Okay, no. Huh. Huh. Okay, so here we go. I've already played Rejuvenation, though, so, like, unlike Reborn, um, I'm probably gonna end up using, uh... Because I, I want to have two starter Pokemon at the start. I want Cinderace, um... And Poplio, because those are my two favorite of the starters um, that are like out there. Maybe I'll do a grass starter. I just don't know what grass starter I like compared to those two, since grass starters aren't really like my. I don't really use them that much. Huh. Okay. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be modding, not modding in a. Uh, Debugging in multiple starters to start the game. What difficulty I'll play on, I probably won't. So see, that's a question in its in its own, right? I don't think I want to play on a uh, intense. Might just take it slow. You know what I mean? Okay, um, 
Jeez, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna jump down. Anything around here? No, no, no. No. Huh. Oh, here we go. Alright. That didn't end up being worth it. Alright, so now we'll go around here. And we go over here. And we're getting the train up here. Broke something somewhere. We already took that one up. Uh, is there one down here that needs to go up? No. Okay, so now we need to get to the other side. Okay, let's... Oops. See if we can get around here. And we fell again. Doesn't look like we can step there, though. Alright, so this train... Oops. Doesn't do anything. That one, um, maybe we can, oh, okay, there we go. Yikes, the encounter rate. Here we go, all right, now get in here. Okay. Wait a minute. Did it take us... That... This didn't really take us anywhere new. Must mean we can move the train... Or not. Hmm. I could already go over here. This didn't do anything. Hmm. Two of those and neither one had a arena trap. All right then. Well, I'm not I'm just not sure. Do I have any repels? Like yikes. Don't look like it. Fuck. Alright. Hmm. Maybe something over here? No. There was that cave we also went through, but I never finished it. This is a long-winded puzzle. Holy crap. Let's 
see. Is there another place to start? Around here, maybe? No. Anything over here? No. Maybe? Darmanitan. Okay, here we go. Holy crap. Alright, so I need to try and get that destroyed. I should be able to do that. This train looking mighty familiar. Super big one. Alright. Sorry I'm not talking as much in this episode. I'm just like trying to get this puzzle down. that change though because I don't think there's any car that I could send straight upwards it was over here that we pushed well now we can go interchangeably but there's no car down here or engine. To drive straight up. Yeah, nothing like that. Only thing I can think of is there's something... There has to be something north, right? Maybe there's more out here? What's over here? Ah, uh, there it is. Here, maybe? No. Over here? Doesn't look like anything. I don't see any entrances. Can I just... Where does the tracks take me? Holy crap, this puzzle is huge! I don't think we can safely go further than this. 
That sandstorm out there looks like a bad time waiting to happen. I don't think it's gonna blow over soon. Let's go back for now. Hmm. Okay, so then I... Did I miss something? Hmm. What's down here? A max ether. It's really hard to tell if I'm actually supposed to, uh, what's over here? It's good to be out of that mess out there. What is this place? You don't have any idea either, do you? Well, here we go again. The stones seem to shimmer with light. Oh, that's it. Never mind then. I thought it would be bigger. I think this is one of those where you're supposed to use Dark Pulse or something. And it changes it. Either the Dark Pulse or like maybe it's Earthquake or something. I don't know. Okay, so then where am I supposed to go? Hmm. It's just over here. Like, this place doesn't lead anywhere. The scale of this puzzle is so damn big, it's hard to tell exactly where I'm supposed to be going. Is this what I'm supposed? Is this where I'm supposed to be, or do I need to go back to that cave? I might not even need to be here. go straight up or down maybe how far right can I go I went left so maybe going right might have an answer what's that Synthetic C. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Doesn't do anything. Man, where are we going? Um, are we? What's what is what is this? Are these windows actually? Wait, what is? Is there a castle out here or something? Something tells me we're heading the right way now. Maybe? Return. Ooh. This water probably isn't even drinkable. I guess I try a pinch, though. Don't you dare. Return is nice. Or maybe return was the only thing up here, and we just... Still confused. Fuck. Can't surf on the water. OK, 
Okay, but then what is all this up here? Hmm. I don't wanna I get frustrated because I don't want to upload this because I haven't done anything. But it's like this is so aimless. Like I don't even know where to where to go. Trying not to pick up a guide for this, but I might just have to. It's a lot better than wasting time. Like, we're on the right side of the desert, but that's not really saying much. Yeah. And the trains are back over here. Yeah, all right. I I'll I'll look up a guide. I probably should have just done this like a while ago. All right, I made a little bit of progress. Let's see. Whoa. That was pretty cool. All right. I, oh, fuck. Hmm. Alright, so I just can't go in that direction for some reason. Did that did that do anything? Okay. Alright, here we go. Whoa! Did you guys see that? What the hell? It's like at the far right corner, one of the train cars was moving. I, I swear I saw a, a rogue train car. <laughs> Must have been like a visual glitch. Um. Oh, right here. Okay, a lot of cars. Oh, well, howdy, partners. We thought we were here in some kind of racket. We figured it was just local Steelix giving it a good tussle again. <laughs> nope, no Steelix. Just two crazy people with a train. Well, you know we all been there. Good old-fashioned train jostling in the best sport we got out there. Uh, got out here. That sounds safe. Anyways, my name is Euphora. Europa? Eur Europa? Europa? Europa. Y'all looking for a place to rest? Rest? I don't think I've heard that before. Oh, you joker. We don't exactly get a lot of visitors out here, but there's a few of us who hang together for our own reasons. Some of us here are chasing peace, others fleeing violence. It don't matter who you are, though. You're welcome to stay with us as long as you like. We got each other here, and that's all we need. This might work out. Y'all got a story to tell? Bell probably has several, and I, uh... I'm just looking for somewhere safe. Well, congrats. You found it. 
if you'd like, I can set you up with one of your own personal trains and what few accommodations we got. So wait, you guys just live out here, live in the trains out here? Because you can? Pretty much. Yeah, sounds great. If it's no trouble, that'd be a big relief. Well, right this way, sir. Alright, so we did make it. Whoa, she wasn't kidding. Please excuse me, I know you. Do you remember me? But we fought once before at Dr. Connell's orphanage. My name is Stephanie. Well, the others have been calling me Stephoscope because of this outfit. I keep telling them I'm not a doctor myself, but you and that girl were pretty impressive. It seems that as a result of that incident, the doctor took a leave of absence from the facility. It's hard to forget an event like that. Even so, I didn't expect to see you here. I came here hoping to avoid everyone. The truth is... A while after the doctor left, we were recruited by Team Meteor. They said we would stop receiving wages if we didn't switch over to work for them. Most of us were coerced into working for them. I don't even know what happened to the other children. But I still refused, even under the threat of harm. When they said they would not let me go, I fled and ran here. I was lucky to find a company and shelter, but it's very difficult compared to my old life. I've been researching how we can more effectively grow food in this kind of environment, so that we could don't uh, so that we don't struggle so much to get by. But it's hard to add, uh, it's hard to adjust to these kinds of people, this kind of living. I don't dare go back to the city though, not until Team Meteor isn't active, not until Team Oh anymore. Fucking, <laughs> I hate that. Anyway, this has been a surprise, but I should get back to work, not just for my own sake, but I'd like to ensure the others can keep living a free life here too. Didn't think I'd see one of these out here. Hmm. Well, well, we don't get many new faces around here. Just call me Buffalant Bill. You need anything? I might be able to hook you up. Ain't no short of a odd end as we've been salvaged from the supply trains around here. Give me a holler if you want to see what I got. Oh my god, please. Thank you. Thank you. I'm safe. It's locked? Okay. What do you think? Certainly need some TLC, but with a good broom and a bit of elbow grease, should be all hunky-dory. He your boyfriend or something? Nah, fuck him. Oh, I'm just playing with you. But if you're looking to stay too, the two of you can share, or I'm sure we can find you another car. Well, this is perfect. Y'all like it? Yeah. This is me. Then it's all yours. Feel free to clean up or redecorate however you like. Oh, excuse me. And if you did anything, you just let me know, let me or one of the others know, and we'll see what we can do for you. I imagine y'all are mighty tired, but when you feel up to it, come out and introduce yourself to the rest of the folk here. Everyone's always excited to meet a new friend. Until then, I'll leave you be. Maybe I'll take her up on that. Sleep is sounding pretty swell right now. Thanks for bringing me here. I feel like maybe things will be okay. Guess I'm going to take a nap and then let's talk more later, okay? I don't know if I'll be able to be real. I don't know if I'll really be able to sleep, but I need to try anyway. I can sympathize. All right. Do I get a car? What's down here? Whoa. Where am I headed? What? Is that grass? Huh? 
Huh? Where the hell am I? Once upon a somewhere. This song. Where? What? Okay. This song, dude. Oh my god. There's stairs. Is there... Is this map just super big or is it repeating? I'm curious. I think it's repeating. Whoa. A fairy type trainer's just wet dream. That's... I like this place. Adrian. Hello, Bell. So you made it to Tatiana's gym. That's a relief. Wait, this is the steel type gym? I what? I read over the notes of her for her earlier. She has a sort of makeshift world out there, right? I'm sure it's just constructed according to her story, but it sounds beautiful nonetheless. I'd like to see it myself sometime, but for now, let's go over her battling style. I think you already know that she relies great on uh, greatly on her Aegis Slash. In her fairy tale field, the stance change ability will be even stronger than it usually is. Her team takes a similar approach, shifting a defensive front into an offensive one. Your chance, your best bet will be preempt her setup, but her type's natural bulk will make that difficult. Naturally, you might fare better by trying to meet her offense head on with your own. I'm sure you'll be able to figure something out. After all, you're the future champion of Reborn. I gotta run now. Best of luck. Is there a PC in here? History and literature have awful habits of letting little girls wander past the forest edge, only to be swallowed up by a number of enchantments beyond. This song! Oh my god. Oops. Well, I'm about to get demonetized. <laughs> For justice. Interesting. So she's like a knight. I guess I suppose that's the logical conclusion you'd come to for a steel type trainer. God damn, I'm not even max level cap. Oh shit. I know who this is. This is the she killed Ame. Yeah, this is okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Welcome, Bell. You were quite generous to show that boy here. I thank you for that. Since he in return showed me he is beyond incompetent, but his victim act must be quite compelling. Everyone is so quick to give in to crocodile tears, but when they come to the jaws of the beast, they act surprised. How funny. Now let's get started. Better keep your guard up. So he be he betrayed us. Between wolves, witches, and rabbit holes, the world conceals a plethora of dangers waiting to leap upon the and ensnare the unsuspecting and unshakably innocent children. Hmm, so... I mean, I knew he would betray us. I'm just, uh, I'm just disappointed. Dare to expect something right. So, if she's here, how does that change things? Does she, is she going to interrupt my battle, or will I have to battle her? Or I really need a heal up machine.
magician. I might... I might have to run all the way back and heal up. Will I have to? Probably, yeah. Let's just do it. Not sure why uh, we couldn't have a heal up machine at the start of this place, but okay. Even though the typings are... They're really not a healing machine or anything around here? Where's the rabbit hole? Trying to figure out how deep that actually goes. Here it is. That's insane though. How was that just there and what? How does she create that? Hmm. Can I fly to this location? I hope I could. So now that they betray me, does doubling back and like calling them a bitch change any dialogue? He's still here. No, it doesn't. Wow, that's funny. So let's. We're gonna act like he didn't betray us. Yeah, sure. All right. There ain't much to live up. Uh, there ain't much to live on here. Live on up here. God, I. I really don't like reading like s styles of speech, but I understand it, right? Like, it it gives more life to the world. But like, there ain't much to live up on. Lana, uh, there ain't much to live on up here. Like, uh, it's it's just weird to say it. So we vagabond types got to be responsible for growing some of our own food. Ain't no small matter either. Sometimes we go hungry, but I'd say it was worth it to have this kind of freedom. By the way, if you need any supplies before heading back out into the sands, talk to old Buffalo Bill. He should be able to sell you a thing or two. Train town? Uh, out of us? Al for short is fine. I suppose you already met my wife Europa. The two of us got a little stir crazy cooped up in the city so we decided to hoof it out here and see what kind of adventure we can make. In the end we never wanted to go back. Over time we've picked up a few stragglers here and there. Mostly people looking to escape the city themselves. For instance Miss Percy. We found her collapsed in the desert. Apparently her husband had sworn to kill her if he, she stepped a foot outside one more time. So she ran some word he'd never find her. And sometimes there's that kid wandering around too. He's a strange one. Anyway, I hope you'll make yourself at home here. If you need anything, you let me and my wife know. By the way, if you're out here, I don't suppose you're looking for the gym, are you? Hate to disappoint you, but despite the pattern marked outside, this isn't. Miss Tantiana used to run challenges out here, but... Well, you got a little... You should go a little farther. You'll see. Yeah, I've, I've seen it. I'm just curious how how it even exists, but I just need to be ready. This is the route we'll go. Fucking hyper offense. And definitely need to grind. Might do that off screen. I'll skip back and try and make, push the story a little bit more. Since we it did take us a long time to get to this point.
Do I just run north? Here, yeah, just go north. Have we faced the water type leader yet? I don't think we have. We still have the water and rock type leader and all the things in between. Can't believe I didn't buy any potions. Didn't I tell you to keep your guard up? What the hell? She awakens in a tower. Stone. Cold. Repels reflect war. <laughs> I'm kidding. Alone. Alone. Wait, am I? Am I actually going? Huh. Oh, wait a minute. Why didn't I see that? <laughs> Field effect dragon's den? Up here? I'm so glad to see you. I, I woke up here and Lynn, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't want her to. I didn't want this. I didn't want this. Please believe me. I'm, I'll am i try and find a way to you. I'll find a way down. Just hold on, please. There you are. You and I, you, I was ready for. But did you really have to drag these, these other vermin in? Listen, I got a plan. Do you trust me? Why not? After everything I've done, you've done something? Seriously? Why? No, forget it. Thank you. Hang on to these. Sapphire bracelet. This will be over soon. This shit's goofy. Huh. A dragon guards her. A dragon guards her. Its fangs bare to the world. Uh oh. Brimstone beneath faithfully, uh, faithfully reserved for whatever metal-clad ignoramus dares think himself so mighty that even fire may not char his miserable flesh. Uh, what the? Ah. Uh, what the fuck? Hello? Um... Sir? Guess we doing this again, huh?
Blue Flare. Well, shit. Okay. I guess that's the I gotta go grind whistle. Oh well. That's gonna be it for the episode. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm gonna be back on this. I'm gonna try and get this game done. Um, I think we made decent progress today. It started off slow, but you know, we're getting there. Freaking Reshiram is in here. It's like freaking the whole Arceus thing all over again, but it is what it is. Anyways, if you like the episode, please leave a like, have a uh, comment, subscribe, have a good one. Take care.